Hey folks, do you know that you can enhance experience when you use AKS to manage your containerized applications without leaving VS Code, neither input any command lines? Um, today, we will be joining with Tads to introduce you the open source tool for VS Code to help the developer's experience with escaping many manual processes and configurations. So hi, Tads, welcome. Uh, so now how about you tell us more about this tool? Hi, Ron. Um, yeah, sure. This tool exists in the open source space, which is presented as VS Code Marketplace tool. And it is existing to provide enhanced and simplified developer experience for Azure Kubernetes services. In order to download this, Exten this extension, all users need to do is go to Extension Manager in their VS Code and search for AKS. And this is the extension which is easily downloadable via Extension Manager. Once user will download this, it will appear as this Kubernetes icon on the left-hand side of VS Code. Azure Kubernetes extension is the Cloud Explorer window. For the first-time user, it will have the login experience via portal. Once user is logged in, they will be able to see their AKS subscriptions and the clusters under those subscription. There are various horizontal features this provide without going into the depth of these features. It starts from simple as merging, and I'll, I'll zoom in a little. Um, so it starts with merge into kube config, save kube config. It goes on to run AKS diagnostics, which is running ARM API calls for uh, the detectors which get run in Azure portal. It also enhances the experience by clicking on one click deploy for AKS Periscope tool. And one of the feature we found was in Azure portal experience, users need to search their AKS clusters. But we have deep linked this via this extension. So all users need to do is show in Azure portal and it'll open the experience in the browser. One of the other developer experience we have enhanced and simplified is show properties. All users need to do is right click and select the cluster they want to see the properties for. And it is going to open key information for that cluster, which is FQDN, Kubernetes version, and power state. So for example, if I'm on my weekend and I want my cluster to be stopped, I can simply click on stop cluster and restart cluster once I'm back after my weekend. Awesome. Yeah, I think this is a super cool and convenient. I can see like for developers, uh, they don't really need to leave VS Code while they're coding. They can just do a lot of things here. They can just copy the values from the properties or if their clusters running into any issues, they can directly with this easy and fast diagnosis experience to check what is going on within the VS Code. That definitely saves a lot of time for our developers and this is a quite a good smooth experience. Absolutely. And the whole intent was to do all the heavy lifting at the VS Code level and at the extension level. So all users need to do is one click and deploy their resources or the experience they are looking for. We have enhanced this by creating quick GitHub workflow creation. So user can click on any of the workflows and it pre-populates with the information which this extension already knows about that cluster. For example, the client ID, the cluster name, so user doesn't have to go and manually input these values. We have also enhanced the uh, another enhancement which is quite widely used for this extension is run kubectl commands without changing the current cluster context of your set cluster in the CLI. So for example, here, I simply click and get all pods for my TATS123 cluster. And I can use advantage of VS Code parallelism and click on get all pods for my TATS 125 cluster. Now, all it will do is at the background run both and provide me information about my TATS 125 cluster and what are the pods running along with TATS 123 cluster. Yeah, that's a really convenience. Again, like, you know, uh, developer just need to click these buttons without any command lines, as we know that kubectl commands are most frequently used ones. So it quite saves a lot of time for our developers. 
yeah, very convenient. Yeah, absolutely. I cannot agree more. And we we are going to keep on enhancing as the feature requests will come via our open source repositories. We have also added API health checkpoints. We are currently enhancing the capabilities of developer experience by adding Azure cluster operations. For example, user can delete their cluster and rotate cluster certificates. We have also done all the heavy lifting to deploy and undeploy inspect a gadget on users cluster, along with a lot of static commands which inspect a gadget tool provides. And user can also deploy Azure service operator by simply right clicking into their cluster and following the install Azure service operator instructions. One of the feature which is to do with the create cluster is currently at the subscription level. So once a user will go at the subscription, they right click and they can go create cluster from Azure portal. This is the experience which we are enhancing in near future to actually have capability to create cluster just via VS Code and not to go at the Azure portal at all. Awesome. Yeah, great demo. Like I can see all of these uh, tools are really cool to help developer experience from end to end. And thanks, Taz, for bringing us uh, all of these like a new uh, cool tools to improve this experience. And definitely look forward to having like this new enhanced feature released as soon as well um, for creating clusters. You know, like it's definitely going to help um, a lot of uh, experience for our developers while they are using the AKS. Um, maybe now you can show us a little bit more about the open source resources, because um, you know, like our audience definitely want to share their feedbacks with us. And um, if he, they have any ideas about the developer experience they wanted to input, um, they can also uh, discuss with us, and then maybe they can definitely contribute um, to our repo as well. So yeah, absolutely wrong. So here is the VS Code Marketplace page for this extension. User mm -hmm. can click on introduction to go to the GitHub documentation for this, which is which will take user to this. We also have the AKS VS Code tools repo, which reside under Azure org and contains all the open source tool code for this extension. Essentially, user users can either open feature requests via issues or can feel free to dis start a new discussion for any feature request they have. We intend to increase a lot of AKS developer experience via this extension and keep on doing all the heavy lifting at the background for the user. Like I mentioned about that create cluster via VS Code, we do have a pull request at the moment, and we look forward for this new feature to land in recent days for this extension for creating cluster via uh, VS Code. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to see like the users to share more of their ideas in their deployment, in their like running applications and coding all of like this developer experience uh, with us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tats.